pray that the interviewer is nice to you or uh, the interviewer is not too hard on you or uh, pray that the interview goes well pray that the question they will ask you are uh, the question you know it happens where people talk too much and then they say something they shouldn't say and then whatever they say you know was used against them later you don't USA Mon. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys uh, had a good uh, Christmas, a Merry Christmas. Well, the New Year's is almost there. In today's video, we're going to go over, you know, how to prepare yourself for your uh, immigrant visa interview. Because I know a lot of you guys uh, will go to the interview soon. Some of you guys still didn't get your interview appointment later, but maybe you're going to get it before the end of this year or be beginning of uh, next year. And then the whole uh, year on uh, 2024, a lot of you guys will uh, receive an interview appointment letter. We'll go to the interview. Now, before you go to the interview, you have to prepare yourself. You don't just go to the interview. Okay, interview is easy and it's a little bit complicated and intimidating as well. I went to an interview before. Before I come to the United States of America, it wasn't good. The first interview I went to, I didn't get my visa. I have to go back the same week to get my visa to come to United States of America. And that was a student visa, okay, it's not an uh, immigrant uh, visa. So, you know, in I went through the process, um, uh, the interview is a little bit different because uh, you are petitioned by uh, a family member, okay? Then uh, you have to know certain stuff, stuff about your family member or your relative. You have to know a lot about the document the petition will provide and also the document, the civil document you, the visa applicant, uh, submitted to NVC Computer Electronic Application Center. So guys, don't you, you know, at the end of you, they're going to ask you a question about your document uh, you provide, the information you provide on different form, whether it's the I-130 form, the S-260 form, all those stuff. They're going to ask you a question based on your own information, okay? And then some of you guys already been uh, uh, already went to the visa interview before. You know what happened. You know don't lie about that. Okay, you have to tell the truth. So to prepare yourself for the interview, you have to make sure you get uh, all your document. All the document you're gonna take to the visa interview. You have to make sure you have all those document. Uh, you know, organized and put in. Maybe you can put in like a folder, but you have to know exactly where they are. Don't wait till last minute to start looking for those uh, documents. Because if you cannot find one document, that will stress you out. And when you go to the interview, you're not going to do well at the interview. I don't have the list of the stuff we're going to go over. Usually, I have like a list I go through, but this one, I just do on top of my head. Uh, another thing you need to uh, make sure you, you do before your interview is to talk to the petitioner. Okay? Your relative who petition for you, you have to talk to them regarding, uh, you know, different information they provide on the I-130 form on DS-260, like on their job, uh, you know, where they work at. Uh, if they have a family, you already know that, okay, they have family, they have kids, they marry or not marry. You have to know those information because they can ask you this type of information. You know, sometimes you don't, they ask you a question, you don't even think they can, they can ask you. So make sure you know all those, um, you know, um, you have all those information before you go to the to the interview. You know, if something come up, you know, you talk, you talk about something, well, ask the petitioner, okay, before you go to the interview. Uh, another thing, your, all the civil documents that you provide, uh, you submit to NVC, Computer Electronic Application Center. According to NVC, you have to take the original or certified copy of those documents to the interview. Make sure you have those documents, the original or certified copy, copy of those documents uh, to take to the interview. Because if one is missing, well, uh, that can uh, have impact on the visa decision because uh, they might ask you to you know, go and then uh, send on those additional documents before they can make a decision on your uh, visa. You don't want that because that will delay the whole process. You already wait enough to just uh, still waiting because you didn't uh, take the uh, original self copy of that document to the interview. Another thing, uh, what else? Is to make sure you go to the interview early, at least 30 minutes or even 45 minutes earlier. But I think they recommend the 30 minutes go there earlier, 
okay if your appointment is at eight o'clock be there at 7 45 or even 7 30 okay that way you're gonna go over a certain document you know uh, you know get yourself together uh, before the interview because if you're late you're gonna be stressed out and that can have impact on the on the interview okay and um another thing is what well, uh, make sure you pray <laughs> okay so i'm a i'm a christian so i'm a big believer so prayer is uh, something that you don't take for granted or you don't joke with it don't matter what religion uh, you practice you have to pray before you go to the interview okay pray before you go to the interview because sometimes you can control certain stuff but there are stuff you cannot control okay pray that the interviewer is nice to you or uh, the interview is not too hard on you or pray that the interview goes well pray that the question they will ask you are uh, the question you know okay you already went through over those questions before you go to the interview that way you can answer easily another thing is when you go to the interview don't argue with the interviewer Sometimes people get frustrated because they wait maybe two years, three years to get an interview appointment letter, and then they go to the interview. Once they go to the interview, the interviewer will ask them question. They think like it's a, you know, it's a dumb question, and they kind of have attitude and they'll start arguing with the uh, interviewer. Don't do that. Okay, be nice, be polite. When the interviewer asks you a question, answer the question to the best of your ability okay if you don't know the answer to the question just you know tell the interviewer that you don't know the answer if you don't understand the question ask the interviewer to repeat the question in different ways so you can understand okay then when you give answer to the question don't give a, a long answer give a short answer okay because sometimes when you talk too much you give a long answer they can pick some stuff from whatever you say and then ask you later on but you know that can that can jeopardize the interview i mean it, it happens where people talk too much and then they say something they shouldn't say and then whatever they say you know was used against them later you don't you don't want that okay what else uh when you go to your interview make sure you dress appropriately okay don't just go to the interview dress like you're going to a nightclub or I don't know. You know, make sure you have a nice dress, clean, nice dress. Uh, make sure you, you know, um, you take care of your, your hair. Don't have like a crazy hair like me. I'm just kidding. But make sure you, you know, everything is straight. Your hair is uh, straight. Um, maybe if you want to have a haircut, as if you're a man, go and have a haircut. If you want a woman, you know, dress, I mean, have a, or go to a salon, a beauty salon, so you can, uh, uh, you know, fix your hair before you go to the interview. Uh, another thing, uh, it's gonna be better not to wear like perfume because some of the perfume are smell good for you, but won't smell good uh, uh, for somebody else. So just avoid perfume. I would just like uh, my recommendation. You don't have to wear even if you're gonna wear it, just wear a little bit of it, okay? And um, another thing what else what else so basically those are the stuff you need to you know or pay attention to when you go to the when you go to the uh, interview and another thing uh, uh, uh be truthful okay or uh, tell the truth when the consular ask uh, consular officer ask you a question tell the truth don't lie because sometimes people uh, try to lie uh, but the thing is the bad thing about that is uh, whatever information you provide on your form or document they, that's what they're using to ask you those questions so they know the answer most of the time they know the answer before they even ask you they know uh, whether or not you've been uh, you you have you have you you've applied for uh, visa before either immigrant visa or you know stuff like that they know those information but they're still gonna ask you to see if you're gonna tell the truth okay just tell the truth if you tell the truth you're not gonna remember what you said before because another thing is the consular officer may ask you the same question in a different way 
may ask your same question two or three times. If you are not telling the truth, guess what? You're going to forget the answer you gave. You gave the consular officer when the, that question was on, or I mean, when they asked you that question. But if you tell them the truth, you're just going to say the same thing. Uh, if they ask you three times, the question three times, you're going to give the same answer three times, okay? That's how they know for sure you're telling the truth. That's another thing. Don't lie. Tell the truth, okay? So guys, uh, if you like the video, well, click on the like button, share the video, and also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in another video. USA Mundo.